I'm excited to share the next major update of Windows, the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. Now, to give you a sense of what's possible with the Fall Creators Update, I want to show you a new experience. It's built on .NET, enables experiences across devices. It's built on the Microsoft Graph. It's distributed through the Windows Store, and it's a universal Windows application. Let me introduce you to a new way to transform your photos and videos, Windows Story Remix. So here we have a video that Story Remix has already made for me. And what's really unique about it is the footage was captured collaboratively by all the parents who were at that game. I just set up a story, and I invited them to join. And then they use Story Remix on their phones to contribute all of their footage. I want this video to be all about Gina, my MVP. So to do that, I just touch her thumbnail, and Story Remix will redo the entire video with her as the star. I'm going to go and open the Remix 3D community. This is a community site that is packed with the cool things people are making and remixing in 3D. And you can see I open it up right here in Story Remix, just like I would in Paint 3D. That means that I can get cool ideas and content without even having to leave the app. And of course, I'm showing this to you in our first party experience. But I am thrilled to tell you that we'll be releasing all of these APIs so that all Windows developers can have access to our 3D cloud in their apps. So we're part of the Kronos community. We support GLTF, like many industry leaders in 3D, as an open standard file format for 3D objects in apps. And we also support the Babylon.js Web 3D engine so that these creations show up beautifully across the web. So I came here to look for inspiration for that final clip, and there's this fireball here that's intriguing to me. Let's open it up and take a look. OK, so this fireball is in a scene, and scenes are made up of parts. And I can see all the parts that make up that scene, as well as their creators, and I could use any part as a starting point for my creation. And thanks to a new feature of Remix 3D, the original creators will get credit any time I build something new. So there's that fireball that caught my eye. Let's open it up. And then if I want more ideas, I can see all the ways other people have been remixing the fireball right below it. Let's put the fireball in the project, move it over to the, fireball, or the soccer ball, and then I'm going to anchor it to the object. Let's see how this looks. The Fluent Design System has five elements that we're playing with and evolving. And each of these is intended to help all of us developers build more expressive and engaging experiences. Today, I'm thrilled to announce OneDrive Files On Demand. What's happening here is OneDrive Files On Demand is figuring out which things should be on her hard drive. And it does that in an intelligent way, but it also gives Sherry some control over this. So if she goes to the Interior Design Guidelines document, which she looks at all the time, she can make an explicit decision to always keep it on this device. It'll sync from the cloud, and then you'll see right there, it'll be on the hard drive where it will stay. At Contoso, where Sherry works, there's a whole bunch of people that are all creating documents. And you can see their team sites on OneDrive take up a lot of space. This is 1.37 terabytes. And she can navigate that, double-click files, or pin them to her hard drive in the same way she would anything else, and therefore have the documents that she wants and uses all the time exactly where she needs them. And if someone else makes a change in the cloud, those changes will sync right back down to her device. We're announcing today Windows Timeline, the easiest way to get back to whatever you were working on. She types kitchen because she wants to pick up her kitchen remodel project. And when she does, the PowerPoint deck opens up and goes exactly back to where she was last using it. So let's imagine that Sherry's got her brand new Surface book. And she hasn't opened the kitchen remodel file on it. And she hasn't moved it to that device. But when she starts using it, 
the right things just happen. As she begins using it, Cortana, implemented as an AI in the cloud, able to look at that graph data, recognizes that Sherry was just working on the kitchen remodel project on her desktop PC, so Cortana suggests that she might pick up where she left off. So up next, I'd like to introduce what we hope will be the best way to move live data quickly from one device to another, the cloud-powered clipboard. In the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, the clipboard itself will become graph aware. So you'll be able to do a paste from one device to the other. All she needs to do is do a copy in PowerPoint, switch over to her phone. In this case, let's imagine it's an Android phone. And in Google Maps, she clicks to type some text, but in this case, she doesn't have to type because with the Swift Key keyboard installed, being graph aware, the Swift Key keyboard can display the contents of the Cloud Power clipboard. When Sherry clicks, Thank you. Today, I'm excited to announce that iTunes will be coming to the Windows Store. I'm happy to announce that SAP's digital boardroom will be coming to the Windows Store. Introducing our newest tool, motion controllers for Windows Mixed Reality. I am happy to announce that this holiday, starting with Acer, we will have the most affordable headset plus motion controller bundles, priced at just $399 for the set. Starting today, I am happy to announce that you can pre-order the Acer and HP Windows Mixed Reality Dev Kits at windows.com slash mixed reality.